Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome back to RR Aquariums. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about coral feeding. Now, I know I've done videos about this in the past, and I've talked a lot about it when I'm doing some of my coral care videos. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty much always uh, an advocate for coral feeding. But a lot of people, especially new people to the hobby, and I knew I was, I didn't know this either when I first came in, they don't know a lot about coral feeding. They don't know um, a lot about, well, any of the functions of coral, but especially the part where they feed. And this comes to a kind of, even people, in the, especially people on the freshwater side and people who have never done any saltwater stuff or freshwater stuff, it comes kind of as a surprise when they think of corals and, and they almost think of them as like plants or like uh, rocks, you know, I, and I thought the same way too before I actually got into any of this. And it's just, it, it's really interesting uh, when you start researching this stuff and you start getting into it and you realize that these are actually living animals, living organisms in the ocean. They eat, they uh, excrete waste, they require oxygen in the water, they require minerals, they require everything a fish does, and almost more, even in that case, because a fish, you know, you can just plug any old light on uh, to a tank and feed the fish regular food, and there you go, it's alive. But corals require not only specific light, but also require food. And that kind of was surprising to me when I first got into it. I didn't really, couldn't really wrap my head around the idea of them not being like a plant. Um, but as I did more research and as I talked to more people in the hobby about it, I learned a lot more about their requirements. And so I just kind of want to do a video today showing you how I feed my corals and tell you a little bit why I feed them. So let's start off with the how. Basically, there are a couple different ways to feed your corals that I've seen people use. One of the methods is to turn off the pump to your sump completely, let the water stop, and just let your power heads continue on blowing around the tank so you just have that water movement, and then just spray food into the water or some type of uh, pre-prepared reef uh, or coral food and just let it blow around and the corals get it as they do. Now, I don't particularly like that method for a couple of reasons. Um, one, in this big of a tank, it's just not practical to spray enough food in there to wash around it. Most of it will get collected on the rocks, especially since I don't have... I, I have a lot of coral in here, but it's not super grown out, so it's not taking up like the whole tank. So if I did spray something in here, the majority would just end up in the rocks or in the sand or down in the sump anyway. So it's almost pointless for me to do it that way. Um, I could see the benefits in maybe a smaller tank that has a lot more coral in it, and it's just not uh, productive or time or due to time restraints you can't spot feed everything. But so let's move on from why I don't do that to what I do do. I spot feed, and this is another method. Um, basically, spot feeding is taking the food, whatever it may be that you're feeding your corals, and directing it directly into that coral uh, with some method. My preferred method, uh, especially in this deep of a tank is to use, I have a syringe here, or just the plastic part of a syringe, you can kind of see it. Uh, I picked this up at my local farm store. They have them usually for, you know, injecting cattle or livestock or whatever, but it's just needleless uh, plastic syringe and a piece of airline tubing. Now I have soft stuff. Um, eventually I'm going to get some rigid, I just haven't got around to it. But soft stuff's working pretty good for me right now. And basically, I took a piece of this with me to the farm store and found a piece here and connected it on. And it fits snugly onto the end of this. So now I can draw food and water or whatever else I want up by the sprint, by it through the tube and spray it back out at will. Now, the reason I do this is because, again, otherwise if I just sprayed it into the water, not only would most of my fish eat it, but it would just end up in the rocks. So I spot feed the coral with this. What I feed them. Now, this is going to change in the future because I am uh, working on preparing my own foods and making some and researching DIY options for food uh, that's going to be cheaper and hopefully better for both my fish and my coral. But right now, what I've been feeding them is I have a little tub here, or a little container. It's a little sauce container or something I got it from a, a dollar store. Really cheap. Um, I take my frozen cubes. I have. I feed both brine shrimp and mice shrimp, uh, San Francisco Bay brand, I believe. It's been working really well. My fish love it. Uh, and I dethaw them in here with a little bit of water. I don't know if you can see the water in there without me tipping it over. But basically, I, I put the cube I put the cube in there. I spray a little bit of water into it. I let it dethaw for 10 minutes, or however long it takes. Uh, I suck some up in the tube with the water. And then I just take it down, 
put it right to the coral mouth and spray out however much food I want to feed each coral. But the corals that I spot feed are my Duncans, my Hammerhead, my, uh, my Frog Spawn. Right now, that's all that I spot feed. I spot feed them once a day. Now, a lot of people don't do it that often. A lot of people do it once a week. It, it's really a personal preference. Frankly, I like feeding my corals um, for two reasons. One, I believe it makes them a lot more healthy because not only do they need the light, but they really enjoy the nutrients. And my corals just, a after I feed them about 10 minutes or so after, after they've eaten it, they just expand and look beautiful. And I know they're happy. So I've been feeding them every day. I wanted to get that popping growth. Plus my tank is very large. It has a low bio load right now because it's fairly new fish-wise. There's not that many fish in here compared to my sump system. And I can feed a lot without having to worry about ammonia spikes. So I do feed a lot. But the other thing is, this is kind of a combination of how I feed my fish too because my fish have learned what the corals don't catch, they eat. So I suck up a ton and just spray it right at the coral. The coral gets most of the food, but what floats off into the water, the fish eat. And to be honest, the biggest problem with this method that I've noticed is that once your fish adapt to it and realize this is where the food's coming from, they hang right on the end of this. I mean, I can't keep my yellow tang off, but I have to basically swat him away with my hand so he doesn't grab the food right out of it as it's coming out instead of going to the coral. So that's the biggest problem with this method that I've found, is that the fish, once they learn that that's where the food comes from, you, you have to fight them off to get them away from it. But other than that, it's a really great method to feed the corals. Uh, it's low waste, um, and it gets it right to the coral where it needs it. So that's how I feed. Now, the reason I feed, like I said before, is a lot of people don't feed their tanks. And I personally believe that that's a mistake because... Sure, these corals can survive mainly off of the light. They're photosynthetic, many of them are. They can survive off that light. But if you feed them and you have that light and you have good tank parameters and you're doing your water changes, they grow fast. They grow big, they grow strong, and it takes a lot more to kill them than a weaker coral that's already kind of on the edge of starvation. So that's personally why I believe in feeding my corals. Um, and as you can see, well, as I've shown you in some of the other videos, I've had pretty good growth on most of this stuff. My biggest problem is that my tank is a little bit too clean for most of the soft corals that I have that feed off of those tiny, dirty particulates in the water. So I'm actually working on getting some food or making some food that I can kind of spot feed onto the things like the zoanthids, the polythoas, the leathers, stuff like that. It has really tiny little mouths and has to have that microscopic food. So, other than that, that's basically why I feed. That's the whole, or that's, it, it's really simple. It's not difficult to do in any way. It's actually easier in a less deep tank. That's one of the hardest things about this tank. It's pretty big, it's pretty deep, and I really gotta get my hands down on the water to do it. So it's a bit of a pain, but in a smaller tank, this would be super easy, it'd be super fast. So, I would highly encourage anybody who has these types of corals, basically any coral with a mouth, which is most of them, I would encourage you to spot feed at least once a week. More often, if you want better growth in your tank, can handle the added bio load. So, that's really all there is to it. I hope this video helped you uh, learn a little bit more about the coral, learn a little bit more about how to keep it, and how to ha make it happy. And I hope you all have a great day.